Yeah, hi. I'm going to read to you one of the stupidest things I've ever read. It's a quote from a real estate agent in Toronto. It says, and I quote, Overall, I think real estate investing is a buy, wait, and see situation. It's not an investment for positive cash flow. It's for capital gains, she says, end quote. Again, one of the stupidest things I've ever uh, read about real estate. So, if you don't consider the cash flow generated by a property, just like you, a stock, or the potential cash flow generated if the owner puts the uh, real estate to an alternate use, and instead you're relying on a greater fool to buy that property from you, then you're not investing, you're speculating. Every real estate cycle in the history of the world has resolved itself with real estate, the price of real estate returning to a level that is affordable for the local population. The current real estate cycle in Toronto, in Canada, and in other North, other international markets has pushed way beyond the level of affordability. And based on history, the most likely conclusion is that it will return to affordability. That reversion to the mean trade will not be a simple uh, soft market for a few months. It will be a serious um, negative price change in real estate. This type of commentary from a real estate professional is what you might expect after a long real estate cycle, a long positive real estate cycle. Unfortunately, I'm old enough, and my memory's long enough to have remembered other real estate cycles that were, that were not so lucrative or optimistic. And anytime I see an asset that deviates from its mean by several iterations, um, I'm always I'm always cautious, and I think you should be too.